Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run where we are beating the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers per mission. It is an easy mission and so we can jump right into it. Uh, Hawkbite is probably our VIP in this entire run. Uh, in combination with uh, Mr. Money Mastash, Mr. Mitch Mitchell, uh, are going to be ambushed. It's going to happen quite a bit on cover ops missions uh, because we do have a dark event going. Uh, that, however, should be super, super easy. It's a typical ambush mission. It's always the same ambush mission, uh, to be honest. So I am expecting that we're going to go easily through that mission. Hogbite sends right onto the uh, field. We are also positioning ourselves just over here. Mitchell takes an overwatch and we are ready to go. Yeah, in terms of the overall run, we are making good progress. Suppose the next mission is probably one where we are going to see the Archon King again. But before we go there, let's focus on uh, this mission. Lovely blade storm. Did he really just miss the blade storm? Or was the shot itself missed? I'm wondering. Well, either way, I think we're good for now. All right, Mitchell takes an aid protocol, giving him threat assessment. We're starting a bit of a cleanup here. You know what, we can uh, save our lightning hands. That's a little shot, doesn't end our round. Some extra uh, damage and uh, parry, so we should not receive any damage whatsoever. Bladestorm kills him, and we would have had parry anyways. Good. A swarm uh, is appearing and is coming close. I think is going to come from here. So might as well begin to move over, take a bit of an overwatch. Don't want to go too far um, into this direction because as soon as we are moving into this direction the spawn point of the swarm will also move. Mitch moves in, takes of course the shortest route to drop out of a, a third floor building. Good job Mitch, I love it. Let's give him some experience. And with the expanded magazine, he is good to go. Again, we do have Bladestorm, so we really don't need to worry. We do have uh, another um, Overwatch shot. The last, uh, the last uh, lost one will die. Oh, I stand corrected. The last lost doesn't even want to come. All right, okay, fair enough. Overwatch. Taking an overwatch and an overwatch. Not sure what happened to the last one. Oh, look at you. 
He climbed upstairs. Well, joke's on you, buddy. Moving to designated position. Got it covered. Yeah, we're just waiting for the last lost one. Usually by getting a bit closer into the direction, into the left direction, there's the first uh, advent over there. Alright. One more round until the lost will appear. By standing here, the swarm, uh, spawn point is still there. Going in closer, Shifts the spawn point further to the back. Which of course we won't uh, won't let happen. So let's just position both of them here. Wait for the spawn point. And take another swarm. There's the codex. It's good. I like it. Oh, look at you. Mitch takes a couple of shots. And I'm not sure if we're going to trigger here already. The codex, that is. But apparently we aren't. So we're continuing to move forward. My watch begins. A little bit of overwatch and we should be fine. Alrighty, easy peasy. Moving over here, nice little high ground. It showed me in the preview that we were about to be able to see uh, the codex. Apparently that was wrong. So time to use some of our um, cooldown abilities, in this case Reaper, which is fine, we're now building up uh, momentum, um, so we already got 10 dodge and one extra mobility. Okay, let's use Ghost because we can't see the uh, the last uh, the last codex, and with the Ghost we will be able to at least spot her out. Oh, look at you! We're going to be fine. A little extra hit, momentum, oh, let's parry, and we're just going to overwatch. So if the mech would move closer, we would shoot it, otherwise it's just going to shoot into parry. Yep, there we go, easy peasy. That's another solid kill. We're building up focus again. And let's reload. 
I didn't want to use the ghost uh, that early, but like I said, the mission is relatively easy and everything right. short of complete and utter domination would be a fail. So, we are waiting for now. One more advent should be somewhere here. Let's see what this, uh, the losts are going to do. Ah, there's the mutant. See? Right at the landing zone. Well, mutants are a bit nasty. Because uh, we can't just overpower them with melee attacks. In the meantime, Mitch gets a couple of kills. That's fine. Reload, Overwatch. And you know, we can just Overwatch for now. Once uh, the last two are going to be killed, we can move in further. Right, moving up. My senses are keen. Got it covered. I'm wondering why why did the mutant disappear? Well, it doesn't matter now. Oh, that's why. Well, hello there, buddy. I can cover it. Can't reach the mutant. That's unfortunate. Anyways. Time for an evac, and that should be it. All members of Wraith One have been successfully evac. I know, I know, that was a bit uh, too fast for a mission, so there might be some disappointment that today's video is only so short, like ten minute minutes, and it wasn't even a challenge. I get it. The next one is going to be a treat again, I promise you. Because I, like I said, have the feeling that we're going to run into the Archon King quite soon. And when we meet him on his terms and not on ours, um, i.e. he surprises us in one of uh, the missions, then it's going to look very, very different. Okay, I'll go that cool. Great so... 15 missions, 220 kills, that's great. And look at Mitch, like he already scored almost 10 kills per mission as well. Got a nice little Codex brain. Together, we have so, and we got our dodge increased by 9, which is phenomenal. So, if I am not mistaken, we had another high dodge mission in here. Will, 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 mobility, hacken, will. Ability, ah, it was health. It was in dodge, it was uh, health. But that's fine. And I guess. Hmm, let me think. 
Like just from a health perspective, I guess Roby could could just get some more. Both of them could, but for Roby it's it's useful. Pretty useful. Soldier wounded. Chance of so uh, of a wounded soldier high. Well, that's fine. We can use the ability points though, so it's a good mission. Might as well give it a go. Let's see. We're starting negative trait removal, and that's the perfect time for the antivirus scanner to tell me. Once again, but he is still there. Perfect. So, overall, there is a supply drop soon, which will mark the end of the month. We had some asserted loot and some heavy weaponry here, which isn't bad either. We wanted to make contact with one of our things, but we first of all, I think the main topic was to go and get the warlock and then uh, invade his sanctum. We can't do that as soon as the, uh, as, uh, the Archon King is dead. On the flip side, we could also do it... Yeah, let me think about it. I mean... Hmm. There's actually nothing hindering us at the moment once Roby is back give that a try. We would probably need to um, get Hogbite ready, but we're looking at 20 health. 55 plus 25, so we're looking at 80 dodge, which is really, really good. High mobility. Which isn't bad either. And let's check the training center real quick because we haven't checked him for a while, right? We have quite a few uh, points left over. I think his abilities are super good. Fortress, yes, sustain, lightning hands, quick draw, and reaper. Like, we theoretically the only thing that... No, we, we can't even, like, respec any of that. He has the maximum number. So, I guess Amplify would be an option, specifically against larger targets. Very efficient because uh, you only uh, give, uh, uh, give away one action. It costs one focus, of course, but uh, it usually pays in it itself by having a lot of damage that you can do. Mm. That here will help, uh, channel will help building up focus, so it's pretty important. This here isn't bad either, the whole exchange invert uh, thing, just specifically in terms of tanking or when someone's out of position. Uh, I could even see pillar to some degree. Aftershock, mm, it's really not happening that often. Maybe against mutants for, for once in a while. And Void Conduit, yeah, I mean, I like CC, but it's just not really good. Although it's an extra healing option, I, I almost have overseen it. I mean, it transfers their health over to, uh, the, uh, to the Templar, so it's even more sustained. So from that point, I, I, could, I could see a world where that is um, helpful. So looking at 60 points, I mean, we can go ham. We wanted to invest in him anyways. Let's start with the most important things and start with channel, which provides a lot more focus uh, for him. Amplify, uh, which I personally think is beautiful against larger enemies. Uh, the stun strike, I don't think that we're going to use it really, so I will not immediately spend 11 points on it. I think Void Conduit is 
probably not worth 25 points but it's still a good ability itself if it would be like 10 i would immediately go for it it's just um, on this tier level here on the last tier level both ghost and iconic storm are better there's like literally no um, question about it but void conduit uh, has its uh, utility enemy unit squad mate I think the squad may thing is helpful. So let's go for Void Condit and leave the other 15 points for now. Um, he's getting quite uh, quite impressive. Like if I'm seeing this here on a resume, like he has done it all. He is a champ. Pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah, the others, no points left over, so can't really spend anything on anyone. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Let's continue. And there's our month end. We've done a lot this month, so it's pretty much a super successful month for us. Let's see what the enemy is doing. We gotta, we gotta improve. Uh, we gotta find out where uh, where the assassin is uh, um, located and gotta hunt her down. And I don't want to go through another adventure defense mission, so it's definitely time for the grandfather to die. Uh, Viper rounds need to be countered. That's a bad event. Um, this here is a not so positive event as well. I probably would even rate that here in our specific circumstance even worse than the Viper rounds because um, we're, we're losing a lot of will in combats anyways because the combats are so drawn out and more willpower loss r r means more negative traits. So, upon all of uh, the other things that we could uh, do, black market costs, yep, it's good. I like the idea of recruiting sergeants, but we're not going to have a huge roster in this uh, in this run. Uh, so this here is, these two are definitely not for us. We have enough power. Resource rewards on all missions are increased by 15%. Hmm. So either 15% all resources or black market specifically minus 33. So that's a very, uh, very much Intel that gets cheaper. I think we're going with 15% all resources for now. That's good enough. Yeah, let's get this here. And we're also checking the black market. We're at the point in the game where a lot of resources are coming in, so we're pretty, uh, pretty stable. And in five days, well, we might uh, look deeper into investigating where the warlock currently is. So, got this nice little new toy there. Got another experimental powered weapon. No more Elarium cores left over. Oh, well find some more I suppose good we got 150 400 resources there uh, let's go and get the black market Avenger plotting new course yeah the run here is stable like look at the avatar pro uh, project it's really it's nice. Superior speed. Oh yeah, here. Superior perception. Thank you. I'm definitely going to take that one. Expanded magazine or scope would elsewise have been good. I think we're fine. Let's see if we can sell something. A couple of purifier corpses. Couple of sector pod uh, racks. That's good. We could sell our war suit, which we ain't gonna do. Make no mistake there. Yep, 
Yeah, so let's check if there is any upgrade that we would uh, need to get. There is no upgrade here. I've upgraded all of that, to be honest. Hey, Commander. Which means in terms of item building, I mean, yeah, that here could, could be done. I get it. Yeah, so let's get the fusion blade, that's fine. I don't think that we would need to have even a psionic amplifier because we're playing without psionics in this run. So we should be fine. Good. We're almost done with the Covert Ops mission. As soon as that is done, I think we're going to prepare mentally um, for the Warlock. But before we do that, I'll look at it. Oh shit, low profile. Due to heavy advanced surveillance, only soldiers of Sergeant Brink are allowed in this mission. No! Game, how could you do that to me? No! Oh. That's going to be bad. Oh my gosh, that's going to be bad. Oh. <laughs> and I, I think the only sergeant that we had, I sent him on a covert ops mission. Okay, well... <laughs> it's gonna happen uh, the next time guys I'll think about a way of launching this mission I'm I'm terrified well, it's going to be a really 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 bad mission well thank you XCOM for for air quote helping us out here that is much appreciated if you like what you've seen even though it was a short mission leave a comment down below uh, tell me uh, what your favorite scenes of the runs uh, were so far or tell me what you would do differently if you were in the situation love to hear back from you guys and see you very soon bye bye